hello and welcome to the luxury hyper channel today's video i'm giving you a two-in-one so that i can get caught up <laughs> on my video schedule the first part of the video will be the anti-lux tag and i was tagged by the lovely luxtopia and also rami brie then the second part will be the four winter bag tag and i was tagged by windfire 69 to do this and i believe it was either her and an instagrammer that came up with this tag or i don't remember if she came up with this tag by herself but I'm gonna put them all together and I hope that you'll enjoy them. For the first category in the anti-lux tag, I'm gonna start with jewelry. I'm actually wearing a couple of the pieces. Uh, my Tiffany bracelets. This heart right here, it is rose gold, sterling silver, and copper. And then of course, the other heart is the Tiffany blue heart. And the other bracelet that I have is this gorgeous bow bracelet. The next part of jewelry is this amazing cuff by Henry Bendel. It's mixed with rose gold and it's got silver rivets. And then the last two rivets over here and over here, they are detailed and engraved with Henry Bendel. And the name of this cuff is called the Screw You Baby Cuff. And I just really fell in love with how it looks on my wrist. I was really liking rose gold for a little while and I have picked up the, these two rings. They're actually, it's a set and they're meant to be worn together. And these rings are by Michael Kors. I just think that they look so beautiful. I forgot how I wore them. Did I have them on? I think I might've worn them like this and with dark nails, they just really stand out. It's such a gorgeous combination. Some more jewelry from Henry Bendel are these earrings that have the little flower on them. They remind me so much of the Louis Vuitton Fleur Losange or Fleur de Lis. I think it's Fleur de Lis, which means Lily. <laughs> Can you hear my little guy calling? They get so upset when I lock them out of the room. I love how it's got the rhinestone detailing and, and I love that they're hoops. The next ring set is going to surprise a lot of you. So this is how I wear the ring set. And it's a gorgeous gold tone. This is all costume jewelry, but the stones have different colors to them. So you can really mix them with different outfits. And I got this from a drugstore, CVS. I think I paid $8.99 for the set and I love how it looks. I think it looks beautiful. No one can tell and I get a million compliments on these rings. The last little bit of jewelry is this ever so dainty bracelet from Michael Kors also. It has a drawstring to it which allows you to make it adjustable. So oh, that was a poor demonstration. <laughs> But on one side, you can see that it has Michael Kors engraved. And then on the top here, this bar right here, it is all rhinestones. And it's just such a gorgeous, dainty little piece. With these little rhinestones, it still catches attention because it little, little sparkles catch your eye. There are two more items that I want to show you in terms of jewelry and then we can move on from there. Uh, one being this wristwatch from a company called Scan. I believe they're from Denmark. Uh, I love this when I'm in the mood for a kind of an edgy look. This is a leather band with silver hardware and a black face. People may think that this brand is pronounced Skagen, but it is not. I looked it up on the internet how to pronounce this properly and it is pronounced scan. And they also make purses now and they sort of caught my eye, leather purses. I'm gonna check that out. The last jewelry item is this gorgeous Michael Kors watch that I found at TJ Maxx marked down from $299 to $119. It is a two-toned gold and silver. It's just got a silver face to it and it's got rhinestone detailing. I think it's so beautiful and I love the fact that I can mix my metals with this. And sometimes a watch is really the piece that makes a whole outfit come together. And I find that this watch does it for me. The next category is somewhat going to fall into beauty or makeup or both. Uh, it's a set of Real Techniques makeup brushes. Ooh, this one's tricky right here. Uh, you can pick up a whole set for about $13.99. These brushes are amazing brushes. They're very soft. 
They're very easy to work with and they're very easy to maintain. I picked these up at Amazon.com. I think I got them for $12.99. You can pick them up at Ulta. You can pick them up at drugstores. And $12.99 is probably a fraction of the cost of one of those luxury makeup brushes. And then the next makeup item is this new concealer by ColourPop. It's called No Filter Concealer. This stuff is amazing. So far, every time I've worn it, someone has said to me, oh my goodness, they said you look filtered, believe it or not. The color that I wear is medium tan. All I need to do is just wipe off the edges and just dot underneath my eyes and around any imperfections on my face. I blend it in with a wet beauty blender and it comes out perfect. Now I'd like to move on into an online boutique by my friend Christy J. Her online boutique is called CozyAndChic.com and she sells the most adorable fashion related items. For example, these pins that I have on my denim jacket, it, it looks like a perfume bottle, a lipstick, and a set of lips. I'll give you a little close up. I think that these are just so fun and they give just the right amount without not being too overboard. She also sells other items that are accessories for your handbags. For example, this black and white bag charm with the really pretty glitter detailing. And I love the way this hooks on. This is, isn't that cool? I love that key ring. Is that what that's called, a key ring, right? <laughs> you could probably use it for your keys. Then I also picked up a oat cocoa <laughs> coffee mug from her online store. This thing, I actually, I don't want to ruin it. I know it sounds crazy because it's machine washable and it's not going to get ruined if you use it. But I really love putting my makeup brushes in here and I love looking at it. It just makes me happy. So I use it as a makeup brush holder. This is a great way to move into clothing because I picked up a few clothing items from her online boutique as well. One of them being this t-shirt with the eyes and the lips. I thought this was so me when I saw this t-shirt. I bought this oversized because I love the way it looks when it's like half tucked in into a pair of skinny jeans or leggings that look like leather and some boots. Just, I don't know, I feel like I really love the way it looks together. This next favorite piece from her online boutique is this amazing denim blouse. And it has this cocoa patch on it. This is another top that I purchased oversized because I just love the way it looks when I tie it at the waist or half tuck this in also. This is an amazing shirt. And the quality on it is so amazing. I, I've washed it several times. It's been ironed several times. And I can't believe how the color blue has still maintained itself. It's been in the dryer and everything. It's a really nice shirt. Staying within fashion is a cute little bardo top that I picked up from Zara. I actually got this on sale during March. For some reason, they had a sale for spring clothing. So uh, I scored on this. I forgot how much I paid for it though. I'm so sorry. But now you see the color of these flowers here and you see the color of the rings that I'm wearing. It just, I feel like this is something that I wore with this blouse and I thought that it complemented each other. This next item is going to catch you by surprise because it has a very Victoria Beckham feel, a very Gucci feel, and no, it's not from the Victoria Beckham line. It is this floral blouse. It's a dark floral, and it's got this tie that goes around the neck, and you tie it into a nice little loose bow. It's so chic. It looks great with jeans. It looks great if you want to dress it up. And I couldn't believe that I found this blouse there. This is actually from a company called Who What Wear. I just really love the feel of this blouse and I think it's such a great find. Don't underestimate Target. You'd be surprised what you could find there. The next item was inspired by my Christian Louboutin pumps that I just picked up over the summer. Um, it is this off the shoulder ruffle red blouse. Sorry it's a little bit wrinkled, but it literally just came out of the box this morning and I haven't had a chance to iron it or wear it yet. But I'm so excited to wear this top. I love this ruffle detailing right here. I love that one side will come off the shoulder. I think that it's very sexy and it's still elegant. It's coming off a little bit more orange on camera and I don't know why. I think it has to do with the ring light, but it's a lot more red in person. Then the last item on my fashion list is this gorgeous top that I picked up from the Banana Republic. It's got these laser cutout bell sleeves and a cute little gathered collar with this silver button in the middle right here. 
Surprisingly, I was a size small because I usually take a size medium to large depending on how clothing is made. But um, yeah, this top right here, I happen to be a size small. I love this blouse so much. I think that it is feminine without being too over the top girly because that's really not my style. I tried to rock some ruffles this summer, not like how that blouse is. I find the ruffles on that blouse to be a tad bit edgier and I really feel like that's my style. But um, yes, I, this is so me. Another item that I picked up from H&M is this red belt. <laughs> I picked this up. I think it has the perfect accent touch. You'd be surprised. And there are a couple of other blouses I can't think off the top of my head that I've worn this with. It's got the gold hardware on the buckle. This is not real leather. It has, I guess you call this alligator or crocodile embossed print on it. And it just has the nice little accent color when you need it. I've got three items in handbags that I want to show you. The first one being this Camilla Roma tote. It has a glazed look to it. I love this bag tremendously. I love wearing it with my Christ Christian Louboutin. It doesn't come out naturally for me. For other people, it just comes out so natural as if they spoke a second language, but unfortunately for me, I have to think about it. So getting back into it. I love wearing this with my Christian Louboutin pumps. <laughs> You like how I fumbled on my words? I don't. Don't like it at all. Yes, this tote right here, I think it's just the perfect amount of spaciousness for me and I love the red interior. The next one is another Camellia Roma. It's the bucket bag in the nude color to go with my nude Christian Louboutins. And it's just so obvious. Oh, this is another item that I picked up from Christy J cozy and chic. I loved how it had this little cat and it's got it's basically what it is It's like a double mirror It's a double mirror one is magnified and one is regular But I thought it was so great to just like carry inside my bag right here the price of both of these bags I think I've mentioned in a previous video Was the same amount of money that I paid for my YSL card holder this next handbag that I'm going to show you, it actually kind of saddens me that it has to be considered anti-lux because this company, Henry Bendel, has been around as long as Louis Vuitton, as long as Coco Chanel. In fact, Henry Bendel brought Coco Chanel over to the United States. He was the first fashion designer to hold a fashion show. He trademarked, he was the first fashion designer to trademark his name. He was the first fashion designer to have haute couture, a boutique within a boutique, in his boutique. <laughs> and it saddens me that for some reason the brand has sort of trickled its way down to the bottom of the list. The quality on all of these bags is magnifique. <laughs> I love this bag so much, but what can I do? It's not, it's not considered luxe, why? And the last three items fall into the shoe category. First pair off are these booties that I picked up from Misguided. I actually really like these boots still, even though I picked up the Chloe Susana boots. There's, it, it has a different look to it, that's what it is. So uh, I picked these up because I wanted to see if I'd be able to style white boots and if I figured out a way to style them then I would just take the plunge and buy the real deal Chloe Susana because I've been eyeing them for a while so yeah these I picked up from Misguided I think that they're amazing they wear very well it's easy to clean them I just take a Mr. Clean dry erase and wipe off any scuff marks immediately and I think that they're pretty awesome next pair of shoes are these ballet flats that I picked up from H&M I loved how the black on them wasn't so overpowering. I forget the fashion designer that makes something similar to this. I, I want to say Miu Miu. Could I be right about that? I, I didn't, I wasn't too crazy about the strap around the ankle. I just found that it was too harsh for the shoe. And I thought that this was actually just perfect. Now these insoles that I have in here are to make the shoe more comfortable than they already are. They're actually surprisingly very comfortable and look at how flat this is. They're very comfortable. I also showed you a pair of Banana Republic ballet flats. I completely forgot to bring them over. Oh goodness. Anyway, I'll insert a picture. But um, yeah, so I put these inside and I can go all day in these. The last pair of shoes are these really nice lace-up are these considered gladiator? I don't think they are. 
I feel like the gladiator was just a little bit too much. I just wanted something at the touch of my foot leading up to the ankle. And then I loved how the lacing wraps around the ankle a little bit higher. I just find that to be very feminine and delicate. And the ends have these uh, golden accents. Oh, you can't really see, but okay, there you go. The ends have these golden accents that add just the right touch. I actually picked these up on a sale that they had either the beginning of the summer, I could be wrong, I think it was the beginning of the summer. They were marked down from $110, I picked them up for $40, and these are called the Rothbaum in the color Cognac. So that's it for my anti-lux tag, and now let's move on. <laughs> I was gonna give you guys my outro. <laughs> let's move on to the four winter bag tag so bags that i really love to wear during the winter one of them is definitely i was wearing this all last winter it's this camellia roma bag i remember that i was wearing this on a constant repeat basis because i wanted to give you guys an overview of what i thought of the bag when i gave you all the review that was with my ysl unboxing in case you didn't catch that video i will leave you an i card here and also a link in the description box below but it just wears very well when you're in a rush it's very casual and very convenient the next winter bag that i love and i've been using for the past four years is this burberry tanner satchel i feel like this plaid design just really screams winter fall i also love pairing it with my burberry scarf i like the fact that it's not just a top handle but it also has this shoulder strap and it's very roomy inside it's got compartments uh one zipper partition pocket in the middle two media slot pockets or is that one two it's two and then um one zipper inside pocket there and i just feel very proper when i'm wearing this bag the next winter bag that i love to use when i'm not carrying too much and it's just the bare minerals is my louis vuitton pochette voyage in the eclipse print i love this print so much i wish they made handbags in this print for women but they don't this is exclusively a men's line the inside is very convenient because it has slots for credit cards and then also an inside slot to keep cer certain things separated like a phone and then you have your main compartment in the middle here it's got the gunmetal hardware so it's very versatile because it's in between it doesn't really go with gold it doesn't really go with silver so it's kind of like a metal neutral if you will and then the last bag Thelma you guessed it <laughs> It's my, it's my Chanel in the patent. This has withstood snow, it has withstood rain, it has withstood everything. It's such a powerhouse, I cannot tell you. This bag is a 2014 model, and you would never know it just by looking at it. It's just so, oh, look at that glisten. It's gorgeous, I love it so thank you to all the ladies who tagged me in this video if there's anybody else out there who wants to do the winter bag tag the four winter bag tag uh, i encourage you to do it and the people that i would like to tag okay first being lady b because girl you used to live on the west coast all right next being purse diva because she lives in a cold climate thank you so much for watching you could follow me on my social media that's instagram snapchat and twitter at the luxury hybrid and you can always join the party by clicking subscribe remember to smile always and i will see you guys in the next video